you know, um, started off camp, you know, not really how I wanted to. Um, you know, a lot of things slowed down on my end, you know, slowed up. Got into altercation early on in camp. Um, got got really injured, not during the altercation, but, you know, during that same practice, kind of, you know, sprained my MCL. Um, and, you know, it kind of slowed me down. But, you know, so, like you said, like I said, it's been rocky, but, you know, fighting back, I mean, battling, you know, completing my treatments every day so I can get back to 100%. Sort of led to that altercation and how that all I mean, it was it was more of a heat of the moment thing. You know what I mean? I was I was, I let my my emotions, you know, overcome the situation. You know, I, I you know for a minute, for a brief moment, I thought that you know myself really, you know, that I was bigger than the team in all regards. You know what I mean? And, you know, I thought about myself first before I thought about my defense as a whole and my defensive line to be more specific because it was a you know one on one drill. And um, you know, that's basically it. Um, it was an overheated thing. You know, we always get heated up. It's O line, D line. It's supposed to happen. But um, it just got took too far. So. Do you, do you, yeah, I believe we are. Um, we had multiple conversations, myself and you know the team. Like um, I believe some of my guys have said it. You know, this is my first time talking, but yeah, I had to apologize to my team right after um, you know the altercation, and I also apologized to Jermaine and Fetty. You know, the Fetty, um, you know, more personal on a personal level. So you know, that was my goal and the whole thing, and just getting it past us and. You know, working towards you know, um, you know, the season. Were you afraid the punishment might be worse? They might cut you. Pardon me. Were you afraid they might cut you? Um, I, I don't. I wasn't really concerned with that. It was. It was. It was bigger than football. You know, I was more concerned that you know it was, you know, just my my mental well being. You know, just you know them, me letting them know that I wanted to be a part of this team and me letting them know that you know that I, I came in here with the intent on being the best player I can be. You know, and working through the summer, working through the spring. When you address the team, what was your message? The biggest message was just letting them know that, you know, how remorseful I was. You know, I just wanted to let them know that I was actually sorry. You know, and I wanted to let them know really, really Jermaine. You know, I wanted to really let him know that, you know, I was sorry, you know, you know, besides the team. And that was my biggest thing. You know, I just wanted to let him know that, you know, it was my fault and, you know, that I would never get to that point again. That it would get, you know, things, you know, I'm sure they're going to get heated again. It's football. It's the offensive line and defensive line. But, you know, you got to be aware of those situations and know how to take the actions out of another kind of way. Do you feel like you have to prove anything long to the organization about your long-term sort of liability or anything like that? It's not against like this. And, yeah. I feel like I feel like everyone does. I'm um, not just myself. I feel like you know, as a player coming here every day, you got to come in here with the mindset to compete. You know, and to get better and to fight for your job every day. That you know, that's what it is. That's the NFL. And that's why everybody comes in. You know, they bring in you know defense alignment and you know offense alignment every day. Like other than having to apologize to the team, what was the discipline or the punishment for Pete? Um, Pete, the first thing he told me was like, you know, you're gonna be out of practice. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you out of practice. Um, you know, you're gonna sit out the next day. You know, that that was a for sure. And um, you know, I kind of took that day as a day to get my mind back right. You know, to refocus. And you know, just to basically, the, the, the neat thing was kind of totally un, un, unplanned. You know, because. I finished practice, you know, I finished fine, and this thing I know, I woke up the next morning and my knee was swollen, you know, and, you know, I could barely walk, and, you know, by the time I got in, you know, they were telling me I had a grade one, you know, a little bit over a grade one um, MCO sprain, and, you know, kind of been slow for this thing. Okay, so the first practice was discipline, but the ones you missed after that were due to injuries? That yeah, happened? and it was just, you know, just, and like I said, it just kind of, it's crazy how things work because it just all played hand in hand at the end of the day, because who knows, you know, who knows if I, you know, wouldn't put my effort towards, you know, the altercation, who knows where I could have been, you know, who knows if I, I could have injured it in the heat of the moment, you know, I never really realized that I injured it even more, you know, but who knows, you know, but it just, I look at it like a learning thing, you know, because, you know, the time that I was out and the time that I got to, you know, to sit down and think about everything that happened once everything slowed down, it really gave me time to, you know, understand where I was wrong and, you know, how I can get better for the future. So 